टॉपिक इज ऑन स्पेसिफिक हिट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज हिट सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर हिट इज अ एनर्जी ड्यू टू टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस टू ट्रांसफर द हिट मिनिमम टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस इज रिक्वायर्ड देन एंड देन हिट ट्रांसफर इज पॉसिबल let us take one example here we are considering this marker is for example it is a aluminum block its temperature is 500 degree celsius this is another block its temperature is 50 degree celsius so whenever any physical contact will be there so at that time heat will transfer from block a which is available at 500 degree celsius to block b which is available at 50 degree celsius so to transfer the heat from higher body to lower body temperature minimum temperature difference is required then and then heat transfer is possible so heat is a energy due to temperature difference so minimum temperature difference is required to transfer the heat without temperature difference there is no any transfer of heat from one body to another body so specific heat means what so specific heat means its definition is that energy required to raise the temperature of 1 degree celsius for unit mass of substance it is called specific heat specific heat means the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of 1 degree celsius for any unit mass of substance it is called specific heat so according to the definition of specific heat cn means specific heat for any gas liquid or solid equal to amount of energy required means delta q amount of energy required means delta q to raise the temperature of 1 degree celsius means 1 degree celsius increase the temperature whatever the amount of energy required means delta t to raise the temperature of 1 degree celsius for a unit mass of substance means m equal to 1 kg for a unit mass of substance it is called specific heat here we are considering for example m equal to 1 kg so cn means specific heat for liquid gas or solid equal to amount of energy means amount of energy required to raise the temperature of 1 degree celsius for a unit mass of substance it is called specific heat the unit of specific heat is delta q amount of energy required it is in kilojoule raise the temperature of 1 degree celsius means it is kelvin or degree celsius or m means mass kg kelvin kilojoule per kg kelvin for solid as well as for liquid the value of specific heat is only 1 but in case of a gases there are two specific heat cp and cv in case of a gases there are two specific heat cp and cv but in case of a liquid the specific heat is standard value 4.187 kJ per kg kelvin we have already used this value in some calculation <coughs> so gas is compressible in nature so in case of a gases we can supply the heat energy by two methods the first one is constant volume process means throughout the process volume remain constant in second case the heat supplied in gases by constant pressure process so in that process the throughout the process pressure remain constant in our previous lecture we have already discussed what is process process means if the system will pass through a series of step series of step means if it is, if it is passed through a small step series of step it is called process so in case of a gases there are two specific heat cp and cv cp means specific heat at constant pressure and cv means specific heat at constant volume so to derive the equation of enthalpy and internal energy here we are considering the first law of thermodynamics to derive the equation of enthalpy and internal energy here we are considering the first law statement according to the statement of first law 
डेल्टा क्यू इक्वल टू डेल्टा यू प्लस डेल्टा डब्ल्यू अकोर्डिंग टू द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक हिट ट्रांसफर इक्वल टू इंटरनल एनर्जी प्लस वर्क डन हियर डेल्टा डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू वर्क डन डेल्टा यू मीन्स इंटरनल एनर्जी एंड डेल्टा क्यू मीन्स हिट एनर्जी सो कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम प्रोसेस मीन्स वॉट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम प्रोसेस Here we are considering it is a cylinder and it is a piston. This piston, it is fixed with some screw or some fixtures or some locking device. So there is no any movement of piston. Means your piston will remain fixed position. Your piston will remain in fixed position in the cylinder. Here Q S, it's a heat supplied to the vessel. And Q R, it's a heat rejected by the vessel. We have already discussed heat is an energy due to temperature difference, and it is always transfer from higher body temperature to lower body temperature. So in this cylinder, some gases are filled. Here we supply the heat energy by some external source like a stove or any another heat equipment device. So the temperature of the gases will be increased as well as pressure of the gases will be increased as per the law of p proportional to t we have already discussed charles law gelusek law and boyle's law so p proportional to t means the pressure of the gas will be changed at that time temperature is also changed whenever the volume remain constant means at absolute constant volume the pressure of the gas is directly proportional to temperature so whenever you supply the heat energy so at that time this gas cannot expand because of your piston will remain fixed by some fixture or some locking device so whatever we supply the heat energy to the vessel it is utilized to increase the temperature of gases it is utilized to temperature of gases so the temperature of the gases will be increases so here you can see that in pv diagram one point it will represent the initial condition of the gas two point it will represent after heat supply so the temperature of the gas will be increase as well as pressure of the gas will be increase as per the law p proportional to t whenever the volume remain constant so during the process 1 to 2 throughout the process volume remain constant because this piston is fixed by some locking device so whatever we supply the heat energy it is utilized to temp increase it is utilized to increase the temperature of the gases means it is utilized to increase the internal energy of the gases so there is no any output in this device because in constant volume process throughout the process volume remain constant so according to the fundamental equation of work done work done equal to p delta v in our previous lecture we have already discussed what is work done work done means force into displacement force means it is a external agency due to that the body occurring a motion it is called work done work done means whenever you apply some force to any body so this body will be displaced it is called work done but in case of a constant volume process there is no any displacement of the piston by the so this gases cannot do work on the piston because my piston is fixed by some screw or locking device so there is no any output in constant volume process so there are three basic definition of the work done the first definition is theoretical definition force into displacement another definition of the work done it is a mathematical form p delta v pressure into change in volume third definition area under the curve it in pv diagram it will represent the work done so as per the fundamental we have already know that delta w equal to p delta v pressure into change in volume but here delta v equal to v2 minus v1 but in constant volume process throughout the process volume remain constant at any point in process 1 to 
so here v1 equal to v2 so delta v equal to 0 so work done of work done during constant volume process is 0 so there is no any output will be produced so here delta q equal to delta u so in case of a constant volume process heat transfer means heat energy is equal to internal energy put this value in equation of specific heat put the value of delta q equal to delta u in equation of specific heat so here we are considering throughout the process volume remain constant so cn equal to cv equal to we know that delta q equal to delta u for which process for constant volume process because there is no any output during constant volume process so work done equation p delta v and delta v means change in volume so v2 minus v1 but here v1 equal to v2 so delta w equal to 0 so finally delta q equal to delta u here we are considering the mass so put the value m delta t so delta u equal to m c v delta t this is my final equation of internal energy and internal energy is a function of temperature so in case of internal energy we are considering value of c v c v means specific heat at constant volume now we derive the equation for enthalpy here we supplied some heat energy to this vessel when the heat is supplied to a gas the internal energy of the gas will increase the tendency for the pressure to rise will be counterbalanced by the piston rising upward the load is thus lifted the volume of the gas is increased thus the energy is supplied is utilized in increasing the temperature and increasing the volume of the gas the pressure is remaining constant throughout the process <coughs> when the pressure of the gas is constant the quantity of heat required to raise the unit mass of gas to unit temperature difference is known as specific heat of gas at constant pressure now we derive the equation for enthalpy according to the statement of first law of thermodynamics the mathematical equation is delta q equal to delta u plus delta w delta q means heat energy is equal to internal energy plus work done now our objective is to derive the equation of enthalpy it is a sum of internal energy plus product of pressure and volume its unit is kilojoule per kg is equal to internal energy plus product of pressure into volume so here you can see that the term of enthalpy is same like that this equation this equation is same near about this equation but we know that delta w it's a work done so delta w equal to p delta v p delta delta v means change in volume and b means pressure here we apply the rules of derivation on both the side so dh equal to du plus here p is remain constant because here we are considering second process which is constant pressure process throughout the process pressure of the system will remain constant so p equal to constant so only the variable is v so dv so p dv equal to what work done we have already discussed in our fundamental chapter what is work done this is a mathematical equation of work done equal to p delta v so here i put p dv equal to delta w plus already du is there equal to dh but we know that the delta u plus delta w equal to what heat energy so heat energy and enthalpy is same 
dh equal to dq for which pro which process for constant pressure process for constant pressure process enthalpy is equal to heat energy I put this value change in enthalpy equal to change in heat transfer in equation of specific heat equal to here we put n equal to p because throughout the process pressure remain constant so cp equal to dh equal to dq we already proved dh or capital H m delta t so delta h or dh delta h or dh equal to m c p delta t so we derive another equation of enthalpy equal to m c p delta t here c p means specific heat at constant pressure means this c p term we will represent the throughout the process pressure remain constant at that time dh equal to dq put this value in final equation of specific heat so we derive another equation dh means change in enthalpy equal to mcp delta t